Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanna talk about the idea of things you can control and in a very specific way. Now, before I fully explain what that means and get into it, I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, that way you get all the various episodes and lessons that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you if you just did, and thank you if you already were. It truly does mean a lot to me, as I hope it does to you. So let's, let's really break this down, right? In the circles of self-help, uh, people will often say like, you know, there's things you can control and things you can't control, and the things that you can't control, don't worry about, right? And that's, a, that, that's true, right? I don't, I don't dismiss that or argue against it. However, I think there's, there's like a gray area, if you will, of influence, right? Because there is a difference between the things we can control, troll, or can't rather, versus the things that we can at least influence, right? And when you start to learn that, uh, that fine line and really experiment with it, life becomes a, a lot more agreeable, right? Yes, you shouldn't fret ultimately about the things that you have no control over, right? The, the, the weather itself. You cannot control the weather, right? But, and, and ultimately you can't, you know, uh, however someone reacts to you, you can't ultimately control. However, you do have some power and you have influence, right? And influence is a very powerful thing. So of course, if, if you're gonna come off, like let's say you're heading into work and you know, you're passing by a coworker and if you don't say anything to them, then they might be bitter towards you. But if you, you know, just greet them politely, let's say quickly so that you're not detracting if they're working or something like that, then they can have a pleasant memory of you. Now, it's not guaranteed necessarily, right? But you do have some influence over it. And so this is the thing that I want you to really reflect upon and experiment with because it ultimately does come with uh, experimentation of you know what works and what doesn't because um, influence in many ways is a very individual act, right? So for example, you know, one of, one of the things, um, you know, there was, there was, when I filmed my movie in Columbia recently, like I said, I couldn't control the weather. I couldn't control, uh, you know, we, we oftentimes filmed in public places so I can control other people and so forth. But what I could control was, uh, or what I could influence rather, I couldn't control, but I could influence people's moods going into it. So, if in the morning uh, I was able to allow them to sleep in a little bit and just have breakfast ready for them and have good breakfast ready for them, that's a measure of influence that I can have on their mood that then gives them a more positive attitude towards the day and therefore um, we, we are able to do things a lot more smoother, right? And this is what I mean about like just individual stuff, right? You begin to learn um, people's habits, their likes and their dislikes. And, you know, this is not meant to be in a manipulative way, but you just try to uh, have people be seen by doing the small things, um, you know, or big things if, if you have the time, but, but ultimately, you know, things that, that, are, that you can influence that are small um, in nature of like you actually doing them, but have astronomical rewards, right? So me having breakfast ready for the cast and crew was a very small effort on my part. And yet the reward in terms of, again, their happiness and their mood, vast. So this is what I want you to really consider um, in your life right? Of what are the things that you have influence over and how do you have influence over that? Um, you know, part of it is, let's say you're, 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 uh, you need a coworker to, to do something, right? What's, 
their mode of receiving information. Is it via text? Is it via phone call? Is it via email? And if so, you know, how do they like it structured? All these things, yes, as I said, it takes a bit, you know, what I'm asking is to, for you to put in a little bit more effort, but you will get the results that you're looking for. Um, and this is the wonderful thing. Once you start to realize uh, that you have influence over the world, and, and specifically how to enact that influence over the world, your life becomes so much more agreeable. Right? And it, it, again, it, part of it's just small, simple things, right? Knowing people's birthdays is a way to influence the world in a positive way. Um, the way you interact with people, you know, your, your choice of words, your questions, all, all these things have an influence and, and give you a greater sense of, quote-unquote, perceived control, if you will. I don't have a term for it necessarily, but, but in, in your world. Because, you know, I opened up talking about the idea of self-help. You know, and how they view control versus not control. And the idea is that you can only control yourself. And ultimately, yes, you can only control yourself and the things that you do. But that doesn't mean we can't, we, we can't at least affect things and, and, and extend that reach of ourselves beyond, um, you know, we, we, we have an impact on the world. And to dismiss that uh, is, is just wrong and detrimental. You know, and so by doing, by controlling ourselves and having intention with the things that we do, we create and can create a positive sphere in our environment. And that to me is a very powerful thing that I really want you to grasp and think about. And, 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 and you know, it's not going to be an overnight thing. Really sit with it, journal, meditate on it, talk about it with friends of what it means to really have a positive influence on your environment and the people around you specifically. Because it's there, you know. Sometimes it's, it's as easy as, um, you know, one of the things I really love doing is every couple of months, certainly on, on like holidays and things like that, just going down my Rolodex of, of people that I know and just checking in. You know, just via text, like, hey, you know, just something simple as like, hey, um, uh, was thinking about you today. I was reminded of X, Y, and Z, and just, you know, you don't need to respond, but um, just know that you mean a lot to me in my life, blah, blah, blah. Right? That has a positive influence. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big idea, um, and it's a lot to unpack, but I just want to, I just want to ingrain that nugget into your thinking and as you go about your day, your week, your month, whatever, really think about how and what you influence in this world and the ways, you know, and as I said, experiment with it. You know, you might not always get it right. You might try something. It might blow up in your face. But as long as your intention is good, just keep going with it, you know, and you'll get it right <laughs> or at least get better. So, um, yeah, this has been a really powerful thought in my life, and I wanted to share it with you. So thank you for joining me for this episode. As always, if you have any questions or thoughts of your own, as I'm sure you do, please comment down below or hit me up on social media at Phil Svitek. would love to discuss this idea with you, especially how you're thinking about it and how it applies to your life. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you, and um, I'll see you next time.